it's great. The bank, they want you. They want your business. They give you a little gift. The gift comes with a, a gift from the IRS. Suzanne Kaepernick is here to tell us about that one. This is a crazy story. I mean, we all know that the banks, they give away little prizes, little things. It's a little enticement to get you open up an account. But when the, when the gift comes with a tax bill, does it totally defeat the purpose? It does, because I've talked to a lot of customers who say they're closing their accounts now because they're so fed up, you know, that they didn't, um, even though it, it, in the fine print it said they would be liable for taxes, I mean, most people don't read the fine print. Right. And it takes away the, it's like giving with one hand and taking with another. Right. And to be clear, I mean, the toaster is the proverbial gift. We're not talking about toasters, right? No, no. no. Gifts have come a long way from toasters. They've gotten ever more more and more lavish as, um, you know, for one reason, interest rates are low, so banks have mm -hmm. to come up with other ways to compete, and so they've been offering, you know, more and more expensive gifts, like a $900 Saks gift card, $625 worth of airline miles, and those are all considered are, taxable it's, it's by the IRS. Like low rates always do. It's, it's inflation. Right. I mean, it's right. just the, you know right. low rate, so the value of yeah. everything or the, the monetary value goes up. Right. Right. So, and and so then suddenly you hit the tax man's right. So you, right, you, you talk to customers who say they open the account, they got the gift, whatever, right. and then a couple of months later they get the 1099 like some form from the, the IRS banks and say, "Take the gift back. I don't want it." Yeah. If, <laughs> but you know, it's too late by then. But you know, companies in other industries don't really have this problem because the IRS considers you know gifts with purchase or buy one get one free offers as a reduction in the purchase price. So banks are somewhat unique in that you know banks are following IRS rules here. Mm -hmm. you know, they can't really be faulted for that. But what they could do is what Volkswagen did when they gave away Beatles on the Oprah Winfrey show. They covered the taxes for um, right. the recipients. So, right. you know, banks would could have some leeway in how they handle this, but they're, you know, following the, the letter of the law, I suppose. And are they seeing people actually closing accounts now as a result of this? I mean, I've talked to a couple of people who say that they're closing, but, um, you know, these offers went out probably, you know, at each bank to 1,000 or 2,000 people. So it's not going to be like these mass closings of accounts. And right. if anything, customers will switch from one bank to another is how they'll you know, yeah. handle it. Why don't they just offer higher interest rates? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong there? Did I, do you, do did you I want a recovery or what? Uh, I guess yeah. I'm not a banker, right? No, you I mean, want it people seems spending. Like, you don't want them spending. Right. You don't. <laughs> I, did the banks anticipate this at all? I mean, somebody in the marketing department should have should have thought of this, should have thought of the, the consequences of this. Shouldn't they have? You know, they they should have probably, but they banks have, um, they say it's not the first year that they've sent out these 1099s, but somehow this year it's really bubbled up. And I think um, because the gifts have gotten so expensive, they've crossed this threshold of $600 where mm -hmm. that takes, you have to get a whole different tax form for that. And a lot of customers are opening these and saying, what the heck is this? Mm -hmm. It's not my regular yeah. interest, 1099, you know, and, and the taxes are obviously higher, the higher the gift. So... I think it's just sort of crossed a threshold where it's, it's... It's listed as miscellaneous income or something like so that. So the quick vague, rundown is, um, you know, if you if you have an account of $5,000, if you get a gift more th of more than $20, that's supposed to be reported to the IRS. But if the gift is more than 600 it's reported in a different way called miscellaneous income. Gets a little bit into the, you know, the inanities of the tax code. Plus, frequent flyer miles are not taxed. So there is a lot of just confusion among mm. customers, especially with these frequent flyer gifts, because they say, wait a minute, I always get frequent flyer miles and they're never taxed. Why are these right. taxed? And it's because these were considered a gift. It's different than when you earn miles through charging items card. on your credit card. Right, so that's what's created do some you, of the confusion. Do you think banks are going to, this is our last question, is, do you think banks are going to start pulling back on these offers because of this, or will they just keep you know, throwing them Pump out them there? Out. I don't, about, I don't right. think so, because the offers, um, research has shown the offers can more than double response rates, which is huge. Banks have like some of the lowest response rates to direct mail of any industry. That's surprising. So, <laughs> you know, this really does help them get customers. So, I, I, it's doubtful that they They'll would pull back. It.